What's up, everybody? Zero Zero Twelve, and welcome back to another episode of Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Four Beginner to Master Tutorials. Pretty much the series where I teach you guys everything I know about a single character in this game. I try to get you better with that single character. Now, the character we have today has been blowing up in the comment section, and like, is everyone just asks for this character? Like, it's like everybody. So, of course, I had to do this character ASAP, and the character we have is Hinabi. Hugo. Now, this was uh, a new character exclusive to Storm 4. I never really practiced with her too much, like e really ever, ever since the game came out. But there's always one thing that she's kind of known for is her supports. Now, her supports is obviously one of the best in the game, and that kind of signifies of who she who she is. She's kind of an average character with some pretty good stuff. But the one thing that really makes her stand out as one of the characters that are amazing is her amazing support, which we're gonna go after. We're gonna go look over in this video. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you did enjoy this video. Make sure you hit that notification bell and make sure to tell me who else you want me to do for the very next video. But without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so let's start jumping up into some of these combos. So, yeah, the first thing we'll do is the combo. So here, you're just gonna take a look at all the combos. Here's a new combo first. There you go. Alright, so honestly, when Storm 4 actually came out and I saw this character, I thought she was gonna be, well, crazy. I thought she was gonna be amazing in terms of her flashing combos. But her combos are actually as flashy as I thought they would be, for some reason. Alright, so we did, we did a list of all the combos, so let's start breaking them down. So, the neutral combo and the down combo, I'm just kind of going to wrap them all into one because they're kind of the same thing. The neutral combo and the down combo pretty much have the exact same attack speed. And they're very similar in the exact same attack. So. Because of that, it's kind of just preference of which one you just want to use. If you want to throw them, if you want to use the uh, neutral combo to push them back, go on and do it. If you want to use the down combo to push them downwards so you can get pressure, go on and do that as well. Because they kind of have the exact same attack speed and damage. So there's really no, there, there's, you could just use whatever the heck you want. Like, that, that's pretty much it. But there's not, there's not too much I can grasp from this combo. Of course, if you have a strat back on your team, you mainly want to use the neutral combo so you, just so you have that chance of getting off a strike back or wasting one of the supports to uh, sub out the strike, uh, sub out the strike back. Uh, and that's what we all can find about the neutral combo and the down combo. It's just basically just kind of the same combo, it's just which one you just want to pick out. Next we're going to go into the up combo. Now her up combo is actually very useful. So right here, second to the last hit, she does that little kick. Obvious, uh, this move is pretty much just perfect for a guard break pill. It's just simply perfect just because they can't move and honestly like even when they land they they have lag. They, like the opponent has lag. See how Naruto kind of just um crouches right here? Like he has lag while landing so it's perfect for a guard break pill. I'm gonna demonstrate it right now. Boom. Just like that. Like they literally can't get out of it. Like, it's all the time frame shot. Again the only way they can probably get out of it is if they uh, mass mash the shuriken button, but they have to know what you're doing inside of your head. But this is just a good confirm into a garbage pill, so it's kind of perfect. Uh, her aerial combo is literally just generic. Nothing I can say about it. Like nothing too broad I can say about it. Um, next we're going to her tilt and her grab. Now her tilt and her grab. Well, her tilt is amazing. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about that right now. So I'm gonna demonstrate the tilt for you. That, that's literally it. But, um, it's kind of the same with Sakura's tilt and Hinata's tilt, where if they use the tilt, they dash in, and it can need go into a combo. These tilts are amazing. Any tilt where you can dash in, like, Naruto, uh, the last, Sakura, um, uh, Hinata, any of these tilts that are good for, that are good to push in are just really good. Because, Despite what you may think in this game, it's actually kind of hard to get close to an opponent without actually getting punished. And actually using a dash for a tilt 
and link up into a combo is really good because you literally kind of have no bad thing about this till it doesn't leave you wide open and you can get a combo off of it and you can get yourself out of it like it's it's kind of just overall one of the best tilts in the game like it's the only thing it doesn't do is kind of just protect you from projectiles which you're going to be close to the opponent so you just this is good for getting in but with this literally just use it to either push in or counterattack someone who is trying to push in on you so for the first one Literally just kind of throw shurikens at a distance and then use the tilt to push in on their guard or on them. And the best thing is, it can even still work on the guard, which is pretty amazing. Like, look at this. It can still work on the guard. You can get pressure on the guard. So I can throw this, throw back, go in there, and break that guard. So this kind of confirms that, or this not confirms, but this makes... Hanabi, one of uh, just amazing pressure characters, also because of her support, which we're going to talk about in a second. But the second use of her tilt is to use as a counterattack to actually push it on the opponent once they push back on you. So, the main example I can give you guys for this is whenever they hit your block from a chakra dash, or just whenever they, uh, whenever you block their full combo, you can immediately just use a tilt right afterwards and then push it on them like it's kind of instant so the thing is like no chakra dash no chakra included you just use this tilt right after pretty much anything that's laggy on them and you have the counter attack for it so this is a pretty good tilt for it it's it, one of the best offensive tilts in the game honestly i would say probably top 30 honestly so now we're gonna move on to her grabs let me demonstrate it first I actually like that grab a lot. It's it's very um, uh, what's the word? It's very Hanabi. It's very Hanabi. Like it's very her style. All right, so the grab, I'm gonna say she has a terrible grab. She has one of the, it's just so bad. So her grab is she doesn't move at all. She stays still for the entire grab range, and her grab range is atrocious. Like even comboing into it is just kind of bad. Look at that. It didn't even reach that. So yeah, her grab is pretty bad. Um, I don't recommend, you know, to use the grab just because of this. Her grab is atrocious, but, um, I did find a way to pull it off, um, if you are, you know, kind of desperate. So, this is both, this guard, uh, guard combo, or guard cancel is basically used for when the opponent is guarding and the opponent is not guarding. So, here it is. Perfect. This is literally, like... This is kind of one of the only moves that actually connects up to her grab because her grab, most of her uh, combos don't link up to her grab except this one. So with this one, it's really the one, two, the fifth hit of the Nutri combo. Literally the fifth hit of the Nutri combo is the only combo that actually links up into her her guard. And this also works when the opponent is not guarding. So let's say the opponent is having four subs and he doesn't want to use the sub. He can literally just do this just to secure some damage. And literally, that's not bad damage, honestly. So uh, the fifth or sixth hit, uh, either one of those will work. The sixth hit, that'll work, or the fifth hit. That'll work too. Uh, the sixth hit is a little bit better, but if you want to do the fifth hit, that's also good. You know, either way, it's fine. But yeah, uh, her, don't, don't really do the grab, like it's, it's pretty bad. Uh, next, you're gonna go into her pretty much uh the thing that made her famous essentially in this game is pretty much her nabi style rotation so the reason why this is good is because um well let me just describe what it is first and i'll tell you why it's good so pretty much she spins around and she kind of locks the opponents in this uh in this combo of hers and the opponent cannot sub out well they, they can sub out of it but they sub right back into the combo which means this jutsu is basically unsubable like they, they literally can't get out of it so having this for tilt is pretty broken because it covers you it tracks super hard even it can even go in a u-turn which make, makes this like one of the best juices in the game I, honestly i say even top five best juices in the game like this is really good like if you know how to use it properly of course so use it as hanavi um it is pretty bad like it's it's really bad using as Hanabi. It doesn't do a lot of damage 
it just locks them in place and also if you press r2 you can actually just cancel it to cancel out your lag because it kind of falls down a little bit and it leaves your wide open but you can just cancel it and that'll be all good so my advice of uh, using it as hinabi is um it can still be used good as hinabi even though you, but you're not gonna be doing it for damage you're gonna be doing it for your partner so here's what i mean let me just demonstrate to you first and then i'll show you what i mean later right there that is a perfect example of you can do that with hinabi so let me actually turn the guard on there we go let me show you really quick oh oh my god i switched out of it let me do it one more time Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Wow. Okay, she pushed him away. There you go. Perfect. Right there. That was actually perfect. So, use it as a Nobby. You can use it to end one of her uh, combos and then switch out into your partner and then use your partner to actually. Um, do some damage and then quickly ends with a finisher. Um, I did Hinata because she doesn't really have a finisher in her arsenal. She just kind of just has uh, her grab. A grab it can be useful too because I can be used as a finisher. But when I say finisher, I kind of just means like a, a really powerful jutsu that they can't sub out of. Like a Rasengan, Chidori, uh, Mario Black Hole. You know, any one of those where it's, it's kind of difficult to sub out of. So I was like, let me do Naruto for example. Let me do that. Uh, I think uh, he. This one is the tail boost for some shit. So let me. That would work too. So let me do that. There you go. So like right there, that did a lot of damage we combined too because you're pretty much mixing in the insubbleness of her jutsu and trying to extend it with a combo finisher before it's over. Pretty much just, or you can grab too. That would work too. But you, you want to do something before that juice is over, and it basically confirms you some damage, which is pretty amazing. Now, that was using as a knob, and using as support, oh my gosh, it's, it's so annoying. The fact that this girl can come every, like, 10 seconds, honestly, and if she can basically just make you, she, she basically just stops your combo and protects your enemy, like, or protects you and stops the enemy's combos. Like, it's, it's, it's very just... Um, what's the word? Oppressive. It's very oppressive. So the way how um, the way how you're, I recommend to use this as support is actually get to the opponent first and start attacking them and then use it. Because usually, usually in the mindset when you're playing this game, when you attack, you you're, you immediately want to sub. So you want to use your supports whenever your opponent is about to sub. So. If I'm on the fourth hit with Hinata, then I'll press the Hinabi support, and then my opponent will sub behind me, Hinabi will cover me, and then if they don't guard against it, then that means I can just grab them or just do a combo ender or just get another combo off for some free damage. And even still, if they don't sub, then you can also end with a grab or a combo ender because again, it just confirms damage, which is pretty amazing in this game now i do believe um if they do sub it they're still i think they sub in the air i believe or they sub right in front of the hinabi uh rotation either way it still works because they can't get out of it especially if they're uh if you can grab them right after the sub so it's, it's pretty good all right so before i actually show her actual jutsu uh, let me go with her uh ultimate jutsu cancel so her ultimate jutsu cancel is very basic it's the fifth hit or the sixth hit of the neutral combo and that's literally it so here's the fifth hit yeah i i love that uh also it's 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 very again it's very hanabi it's not serious it's just kind of uh Kind of a, uh, it's a kind of a funny character. That's why I like it. All right, let me do it a little bit faster. There we go. So her ultimate juicy cancels. 
It's very basic, very bland, honestly. Like, you can't get any extra damage off. There's no flair to it. So, like, yeah, that's really about it. Like, there's not really anything too flashy. And uh, let me show off her ultimate juicy, like her team ultimate juicy with the, oh, I don't have Neji. Oh, that's disappointing. Okay, hold on. I'll be back with Neji and her ultimate ju uh, older juicy. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. And this time I have her ultimate, ju her older juicy, which is the eight trigrams air pump. So if you don't know what this is, by this time after this four years of Storm 4 being out, basically just a projectile that goes half screen, um, does very little damage, and it's, it's, the same speed as a normal projectile so in my opinion of this uh eight trigrams air palm i think is it's not good for hanabi if it was neji i would say yeah but hanabi no so the reason i say hanabi no is because um for a combo ender uh, compared to her uh hanabi rotation it does around the same damage if you were to like you know combo because that is not good damage right there so if you're going to use the combo in, it's not that good. Use it as a projectile, it's the same attacks, it's the same projectile speed as you know, normal projectiles. It doesn't even go full screen. Can she use it in the air? No, she cannot even use it in the air like Neji can. So to be honest, I think this is a huge nerve and I don't think you should ever choose Air Palm with Hinabi. You're not getting anything really out of it besides probably mid-range mid -range projectile usage. And it doesn't even do that much shield pressure. Like, it doesn't do any shield damage, actually, really. I'm like, a like five breaks the shield. Yeah, you can't even spam it. So, like, and her, her support is, is okay. But again, Neji's support for Air Palm is amazing because he can use it in the air and it actually pushes them back in its way faster. Hinata's Air Palm is perfect, or it's stronger than this because she can use it three times. And again, it's one one of the best supports in the game. This is not. I don't recommend you use this Jutsu. It's actually uh, Boogie Cheeks. And it, it's kind of bad. But if you were to use it, I would say use it just to kind of like use it in mid-range. If you were to use it. And you try to use it to end combos just like that. But that's really about it. Honestly, you're probably getting more damage off with just like... Just the act, like the actual combo, like just to finish the whole combo, then try to end it with something. Yeah, that's like that's just like it's it's so bad for it's it's bad for Hanabi. That to be honest, it's not a bad juicy because Neji kind of has the same exact juicy, but he just uses in the air. But that makes him amazing because Neji um, is a very pressured character, and this gets him in a lot and gives him actually range. But let's look at the team ultimate juicy now. Oh my god, I love this team of Jujutsu. Literally, I, I kind of bought a PS4 just because I saw this ultimate Jujutsu. I, I need a Storm 4 in my life. Like, that, that, that's a good ultimate Jujutsu right there. But uh, before we actually go to the Waking, let me just do the overview of Hinabi. So, Hinabi is pretty much just an average character. She, 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 she can do some pressure. Um, but she's not really a pressure character. She's, she's kind of an all-rounder. Can do everything. But I recommend to use Hanabi mostly because of her support. Because her support is very good. And she's just kind of just overall like a good character. The only thing she really lacks is like range for her air combo and her grab. I mean, that's that's very work Um, yeah, she does she does average damage. She has she has some good mix-ups. Right there, she has, she has some good mix up. She has a really good Jitsu, which you can combo into with uh, a partner. And that that makes her a solid, like, partner. Not leader, but partner. And that, that's kind of what she is. She's kind of a partner. But yeah, that's really about her. So let's go into the Awakening now. So the Awakening for Hanabi is one of the most cre creative Awakenings that Storm 4 has ever put in this game. She has a brand new moveset. So here's her Jitsu. Or not Jitsu. Here's her moveset. All right. Here's a combo. Man, I really can't see today. Um, here's her tilt. Here is her unblockable attack. And here is her uh, Jisoo. And last but not least, her air combo. 
there you go so Hanabi gets a brand new moveset. set it looks amazing so what I like about it is uh, just the, the stuff that she has both from Hinata and Neji she has the, the twin dragon uh, the twin lion jutsu and also the rotation mixed together in her combos I just love this so of course with all Hugas they have the ability to suck out chakra from the opponent so they basically just can't charge up so as you want to mention that kind of makes her waking just a little bit more better especially when she just completely turns into a pressure character so let's get into it so um man, i don't know where to start honestly so her combo does massive damage you want to use this to get damage off obviously mainly and the best thing about this damage is the best thing about her combo is that um it does a lot of damage really fast so like, her combo is really fast so once you break your guard you have enough time to do a lot of damage and get out of there essentially um her tilt her air palm is amazing for breaking guards i think three of these breaks the guard no four of them break the guard no five okay yeah five of them break the guard but so the uses as a tilt is just honestly just kind of amazing um her rotation does a lot of damage so you want to use this most of the time for ending combos. Plus it sucks out a lot of chocolate. Look how much chocolate that sucked out. Um, her air combo you're not going to be using too much because it's not really all that good. So um, I developed a playstyle for her instead of just using her randomly because uh, um, with the rotation you cannot cancel it. She just kind of ends off with a dab and she you can get hit. So you got to use it, uh, gotta use it um, tr tr strategically. So here's what I recommend you do with this Awakening for Hanabi. So she does a lot of shield pressure, you know, or she does a lot of shield damage, should I say. So you have to do two air palms to the shield. Two air palms to get into red. Then you dash in and start your combo. And the shield will break. And once the shield breaks, you immediately want to do a little bit, or I'm sorry, once the shield breaks, you immediately want to dash again you may want to dash again like this and reset your combo. And then once the once your character or once the uh, opponent's character gets uh, doesn't get dizzy anymore, you want to hurry up and cancel it into the rotation to confirm some damage. So I repeat: first, do two air palms to the shield to get into red. Then dash up and start your combo while the while the shield is in red and that will immediately break the shield now when the shield is broken dash again to reset your combo and then do a probably about i don't know three hits and then cancel to the rotation because this usually that long until the guard uh you can sub again essentially so i'm gonna do it all really quickly this time all right first a triangle's air palm get into red Dash in, start your combo, wait for the guard to be broke, dash again, boom, 50% of a green bar, and it is very workaroundable, and of course, like, if they don't have any subs, then you, of course, want to go in and confirm some more damage, but that's just if, this strategy is just if um, they have full subs and they're just trying to run away from you install time, so you get, you have, like, a legitimate strategy. For yourself so yeah that's pretty much a nobby uh thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy this video make sure to hit the like down below and make sure to who else you want to use for the ne next video my name is Zero12. thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time